cool. Um, let's jump into this, okay? So I'm, I'm gonna actually get rid of the Belinja bed right now. So we're still gonna need it, but uh, I'll still get it back to the chart again, okay? Hold on, guys. All right, so like I said, um, we're gonna be learning how to trade the volatility index uh, with uh, using divergence, okay? You know, divergence, when we talk about divergence, divergence is all about, um, it's all about uh, 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 the use of indicators, okay? It's the use of indicators to, it's just to support kind of errors on the market, okay? That's the way I understood divergence. It's kind of uh, using indicators to support errors on the market, whereby you take advantage of them, okay? For instance, uh, uh, you know, indicators right now, all these indicators you're seeing, they're kind of uh, lagging indicators, okay? They follow the chart, okay? But at a point, there are some points that this that this indicators records what we see as errors, and uh, I really tag that as divergence, okay? So, <clears throat> Today I want to show you guys how I took this uh, sell on uh, VIX 75 from Volatility Index 75, okay, which you guys saw the screenshot below. Okay, so um, without wasting much of your time, <clears throat> let's jump into this, okay. I will always give you guys free strategies and, and things that you guys are going to actually learn from. I'm not here to combine thousands and thousands of indicators just to make up strategies or something that is not going to work for a very long time, okay? So I'm here to give you guys something that you're going to learn. If you can combine this with the previous uh, strategy that I, I, I released on my my channel uh, a, few, a few days back, it's really going to be helpful to you. All right. Okay, without uh, wasting more time, like I said, um, we know that, okay, okay, let, let me just get straight into this video right here, okay, and if your today is your first time, you can always check back on the previous uploaded video, you can actually watch the strategy over there, how we trade boom and crash uh, indexes, okay, so what are divergence i'll actually show you divergence and i actually took this trade based on divergence and some other factors on the market that i saw in the market but mainly i took this trade based on divergence okay so let me just show you something guys okay i'm on my trend line okay watch right here as you can see this market right here on the four hour chart is really making a higher high okay and then our RSI right here is, sorry, I, I missed that. Okay. Oh, I missed that again. Okay. And our RSI right here is really making a lower low, sorry, a lower high in the market. Okay. Another again, we need multiple confirmations to know what we're doing. And looking at our MACD down below, our MACD is also making a lower high. Sorry, what am I saying? Yeah, it's making a lower. Um, it's a making. It's making a lower low, lower high. Sorry, I'm, I'm correct. It's making a lower, lower, lower high. Okay, so this is it, guys. As you can see over here. As you can see right here, the RSI and the MACD and uh, what is it again? And the CCI and the OBV. These indicators are indicators that actually spots divergent in the market. Okay, how does this divergent work? Okay, it's very very simple. We spotted that the chart. Okay, the 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 main chart over here is making a higher high, but our RSI is making a lower high. Uh, MACD is making a lower high <clears throat> hence what are we looking for we are looking for selling opportunities whenever we see divergence in the market it actually terms and it actually depicts that the market is going to have a reversal if not a reversal but a short-term reversal okay just as in the case of over this place and not just that we happen to see that on the daily time frame we hit the support the, sorry we hit the resistance of the higher time frame okay on this on this thing okay so and it's very very simple it was a clear confirmation for for me to take this trade okay so as you can see right here we we really made that trade okay so let's confirm this and this is one we really made it what you are meant to enter is on on, on the support zone 
or the resistance yeah because we are coming down we are coming down for ourselves so you actually enter once a support is broken or if you see the opportunity to enter the market you can actually enter the market okay very very simple what i do for me nowadays is once i see a selling opportunity once i depict or identify a trend okay i easily go down to the 15 minutes or one hour time frame and wait for what we call the one two three move okay if you're if you're my mentee i'll actually this you actually understood what i'm saying we have what we call a one two three move just as in the case it's a, it's a downtrend you have something like this one okay i have two okay then we'll have three okay this is the one two three move okay your entry point as in this case your entry point is over here okay as you can see right here then the market will break this support over here and then retest to it and then start going down okay this is the one two three move all right so um sorry uh, all right so let me show you more examples of this okay you can actually spot divergence on the higher time frames four hours one hour it depends on the time frame that you spot it but it can actually debate don't take it for a long term serious something it can actually debate a downtrend a short term reversal downtrend a short term reversal uptrend or it can actually depict a reversal in the market change of trend generally okay here is another divergent I spotted divergent sorry okay here's one as you can see the chart is really making a higher high our rsi is making a lower high okay and then the macd also made a lower high sorry i'm not really guessing this the macd is making a lower high okay so the macd and the rsi should be of the same side okay i don't know if you understand what i mean of the same side they should be on the same side meaning that they should be actually they should actually be telling one thing as in the case over here we are seeing that the rsi is making a lower high and the macd is also making a lower high confirming the downtrend but our chart over here on the on the main chart is making a higher high so a higher high and the lower high okay let me let me say let me say this way once you see a lower high on the rsi and the lower high on the macd and you're seeing a higher high on the, on the on the main chart it means that the market is going to sell okay if not for long down long term downtrend so it's gonna be a short term downtrend sell. okay so let's let's keep on going we're going to spot as many as this so just as to show you guys that this strategy really works okay it's divergence we're talking about all right so let's keep on going um okay divergence okay yeah another one is over here it's a very very huge divergence it, although it took time okay as you can see over here market make a higher high our macd our macd made a lower high as you can see guys macd made a lower high and then our RSI also made a, a lower high. Perhaps the lower high really started from here. Okay. All right. So as you can see the RSI and the MACD of the same side, the chart is different on its own. Okay. So not just that only, we are seeing a heads and shoulder pattern over here okay there, there are many things you need to learn in the market this is a heads and shoulder this is the this is the right uh sorry this is the left shoulder the head and the right shoulder over here and this was the neckline okay this is the neckline over here as you can see the market broke the neckline and boom the market resisted and then shut down okay let's keep on looking for entry points again it's very very important you learn how to do this okay all right um i think i spotted another one right here really it's just it's not that clear it's not that clear okay um for you to actually know when it is really divergent and when it is not divergent it's very very simple okay and okay yeah we have another divergence here 
really have another divergence here okay um let me let me let me spot it out let me spot it out it's only happened in one case over here so let's check as you can see the rsi made a making has been making a lower high okay but our macd didn't make a lower high it made a higher high it's worked inside with the market okay okay it really worked inside inside side inside with the market i don't know if you are seeing what i'm saying okay and then the chart also followed the macd to make that same higher high also this one is actually telling a long-term trend okay as you can see the market really shut down this is also divergent okay i'll keep on showing you guys entry points how divergence are really working as you can see, I, I, I was able to keep on uh, spotting this divergence on the high, on the highs uh, where we have uh, sales on the selling part on the selling part of the market. Okay, uh, this is uh, all about divergence. Divergence really is a very very uh, strong. Um, it's a very very strong uh, tool, a strong uh, strategy to use in the market to trade the market. Okay. If you learn how to trade divergence, you're really gonna make money. Okay, let's check the one hour time frame. Okay, there's the one hour time frame. Alright, alright, guys. So let's check another pair. Uh, let's check volatility 25. Okay, we kind of uh, let's go to the four hours. This is the four hours time frame. Okay, yeah, okay. Looks like I've already spotted some divergence over there already before now. Because you can see right here, this is a clear divergence on volatility 25. As you can see over here, we had a higher highs in the market, a lower highs on the RSI, a lower highs on the MACD, and then after that, see what happened next. The market shut down. Okay, the market really shut the way down and down. Okay. And this is divergence for you okay trading divergence is really another uh, market strategy okay all right guys so okay here is another one here's another one here's another divergence okay i really spotted this one as you can see the market was making a lower high okay the market was really making a lower high but our rsi kept on making a higher high our macd kept on making a higher high hence the need for a an uptrend sorry hence the need for an uptrend as you can see after the lower highs and the higher highs of stuff and the market really went up okay all you have to do is just wait for the market to turn i don't know if you understand for the market to reverse once the market reverse find a support a support zone and enter your market for your buy. okay it's very very simple right so keep on spotting this divergence okay divergence like i said it's a very very sweet strategy in the market okay all right here's another one the market was really making a higher high okay and then the rsi was making a lower high the macd also was making a lower high this was a clear confirmation in the market analysis you can see the market really shut down short term reversal boom the market shut down and after that a long one came in okay this is it guys this is it guys this is it guys this is it this is it guys okay all right okay all right so uh back to big sun as you can see it actually works for each and every vix index pairs it does work for each and every vix index pairs okay i wanted to talk about something right now but i'm not gonna say it again uh, i was i wanted to teach you guys about uh the five weeks rejection but that's just gonna be another video on its own okay so to learn about this five weeks uh, rejection stay put turn on the notification boy bell sorry turn on the, the, uh, the notification bell subscribe to this channel and then hit the like button if you find value in this video 
uh, I want you to comment below and stay put for more update okay and also if you are still not yet on our telegram uh, channel go down to the description box below and join the link the telegram link below and follow us for free signals and a lot of updates from the peak shooters channel okay this is peak shooters signing out